not only the replacement of a bridge at Nelligan, uh, but also the replacement of the bridge here in Batemans Bay so that we have four lanes, four lane access to our town and of course also the intersection between the Kings and Princess Highway which everybody will know only too well as, as certainly during the summer period a intersection which can clog the traffic for up to 10 kilometres. Uh, this is a major project for our region, unprecedented in its scope, its size uh, and the work and very pleasingly due to the Roads Minister Melinda Pavey, it's in the budget next week. Uh, so, you know, this is, I guess in many ways, taking it to a new level. Uh, in terms of the actual work that has to happen, you can't just build this type of project in a week. Uh, so with geotechnical work having now been complete, uh, design contract awarded to Oricon who are doing the design work as we speak. They'll be back out to the community later this year with design concepts so that we're all consulted on how the bridge will look and obviously the feel of it. Uh, we are going to start the work on this project in the first two months of 2019, if not earlier. And I've said to RMS this afternoon, get on with it. We, we're going to work with you to make sure that we get these projects built as quickly as possible. Uh, can I also just say, uh, very pleasingly for our community, uh, this is not just a project about access and commerce related benefits, there's a safety reason for this as well. And we've seen unfortunately the old bridge fail all too often. And a bridge is a bridge, and what it is doing at the moment when it doesn't work is result in a lot of anxiety for our community, particularly from a safety perspective with people needing to get to hospitals and loved ones and the like. So Liz and I both know that only too well, and. Uh, I think it's time that uh, that change. Hundreds of jobs uh, during construction, which will benefit all of our small businesses uh, throughout the construction period, uh, but also, and I think most importantly uh, for our region, this is the sign of confidence that we need in investment uh, from government that we need to really give this place the kick along that we all so much want to see in terms of progress, jobs, opportunity, housing, delivery of services and, and ultimately that economic confidence that we're all so desperately keen uh, to see. So Melinda I'll throw over to you to say a few words but thank you for what you've done with this budget and uh, you know obviously with the budget being handed down on Tuesday if you manage your finances you can do this type of stuff um, which is why there isn't any Commonwealth dollars here this is all state money, we're a government with zero debt, we're a government which has $73 billion of infrastructure happening in the state right now, 41 and a half in transport and roads, and uh, between Melinda and myself we have that responsibility, so I'll throw over to Melinda. Well, there's not much left to say, Andrew, <laughs> <That's all right. laughs> except congratulations <Big> <laughs> um, and well done on all this work. And I keep looking at this beautiful child over here, come over here because you are going to be the one when you're... 21 or so, not that it's going to take us that long to build, but you're going to think I was there that day. Every time you drive over that bridge, you're going to remember the moment that you were here when it was announced that uh, work was about to start on your new bridge for your new community. So, aren't you gorgeous? How was school this week? <laughs> so, anyway, this is about the regions. It's about what we, as a good government, can do when we put our mind to it and <laughs> when you get pestered by him constantly, uh, that constantly and constant works, doesn't it? So um, it, it is required. I mean, I'm also the Minister for Freight and we need to get these freight routes. I mean, we've, we've come past a couple of great timber trucks as we've come here today. So it is, it's about making sure the Princess Highway gets the safety upgrade and the freight links that it deserves and needs. I, I live on the Pacific Highway um, and it was only off the back of two coronial inquests off the back of those terrible coach accidents that we actually got that, that work moving. And I've got to say, Andrew in opposition, one of the first things he did when he became the member for this seat was ask the coroner to have a look at the Princess Highway. So we've done a, about a billion dollars of work on the Princess Highway since we came to government. And there is so much more coming. And I, you know, I know that tourism is really, really important to this town, agriculture and, and, and that freight mobility, you know, and just having people think, well, I'd like to move to Batemans Bay, but I, I wouldn't like to get caught in that traffic every Christmas or Easter or every public holiday. So that will be a thing of the past once this is built. So thanks to RMS, we've done some good geotechnical work. We're doing the design work. Uh, it, do, it doesn't happen overnight, but to know that that cash flow is here and that we're going to crack on and get this job done for your community, 
um, it's a pleasure to be part of it. So thank you, Andrew. Lizzie, do you want to say some words as well? Look, um, Andrew and Melinda, um, look, honestly, all we can say from Mira Vidala is this project that you've announced today are uh, effectively going to supercharge Mira Vidala and our flow on region. So, I mean, the economic drivers and the benefits for our visitors and our locals alike are just are uh, incomprehensible at this stage to us. It's hard to get your head around the benefits that are going to flow on from these projects. So on behalf of our local community, all we can say is thank you so very much. It's an honour to have people like yourselves advocating for us in this area. So congratulations and very well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Illy. <laughs>